Hello my fellow creative spirits. So today's time lapse is going to be about a piece that was actually inspired by Peking opera or Beijing opera in China. This style of opera has been prominent for over 200 years and it was known to be performed for nobles. So a little bit more about this character in particular, the name for young female performers is known as Dan. So she is our Dan character. Um, these performers were actually picked at a very young age to train very strenuously in martial arts, acrobatics, acting, singing, and have a broad range of facial expressions. So if you guys have any time to check out the Peking Opera or Beijing Opera performances, I definitely recommend checking it out on YouTube. These female performers, as well as male performers in Peking Opera, brought beautiful Chinese folklore to life. Now, on the headpiece, I actually used a theater, the oldest and most well-preserved theater, known as the Deheyuan Grand Theater. Sorry if I'm mispronouncing it. The Deheyuan Theater was one of the first theaters. This theater was very vibrant and exhibited all of those beautiful colors, including red, which also is prominent in my piece. I really love red in Chinese culture because it signifies happiness and good luck. So I thought that I would make that to show this Dan's character. In the background, I have the Yanchuan mountain ranges, which symbolize her stability and this character's strength and unwavering persistence. So that is my piece. I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, don't forget to follow me on Instagram and Facebook if you haven't already. And also leave in the comments if you guys enjoy theater and if so, what performance do you like or what kind of theater do you like? I'd love to hear about that and check that out and maybe it can inspire me for one of my future pieces. I hope you guys have a great day and I will catch you guys next time.